Saturday evening, 11 p.m. Episode 5 is here. Yes, I have managed to consistently stream an episode for five weeks in a row. This is episode 5 of Zero Switching Hour. Fun, interactive art tutorial where we will be looking at what we can do drawing, painting wise, things like Adobe Photoshop, and of course, traditional uh, techniques. In the past couple of episodes, We've been looking at, let's check them out, let's open them up a bit to a quick, quick brief, a brief review of what we have done so far, ends in row, which TV, witching hour, in episode one. We uh, covered basic drawing, principles, shapes, colors, color theory basic drafting techniques online uh-huh uh, not online in photoshop could be different second one which in we looked a bit more at anatomy composition at the golden ratio the law of thirds background foreground midground design aspects certain anatomy bits thumbnailing the philosophy behind it all in, uh, in episode three, where have we, where have we, which in, which in, which in, drawing, which, 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 uh-huh, 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 sure I said it somewhere, which in, which in three, in episode three, Learned about geometry for shortening perspective, understanding comics, things like closure, what happens between comics, how um, deep the art form of the comic itself goes. In episode four, we began putting it all together into a unified painting. We began with a uh, look at the dark side. Uh, we began drafting out a. a entry for a drawing contest this is the first draft the theme was um, dark this theme is dark side of the duck star wars slash ducktales mashup and um yeah this is the first draft the deadline is on the 14th i have since continued let's look at the other the other ones derp derp dark side first draft dark sides Second draft, sorry, the second draft is much further. First draft again, and this is the third draft, as you can see. Quite a big difference between the first and the third already. Still a ways to go, Super Duck, and uh, uh, Darth Duck, Duck Vader, engaged in close quarters combat. On the Death Star, would you have, would you believe it? But yeah, this time we have something new uh, in store for you guys. Let me just make sure it looks like okay on the... Is the stream live on watchmework.com? Looks like yeah. it. We have something new uh, in store. Looks like it. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. You guys let me know what's up. And yeah, as you can tell, um, for the first time, we've got a hand cam. Last time we had a keyboard camera for my left hand, so I could show you some uh, Photoshop shortcuts and hotkeys and things like that. But this time you can actually see my mouse in a piece of white paper that it's rested on and a couple of rudimentary uh, uh, drawing utensils, which we'll be using today to, uh, to show you a couple of things. So yeah, um, what have we here? This is just a normal piece of A4 paper, like you put in a printer. It's it's nothing special. It's not bad. It's not good. It's it's just normal. It's just printer paper, A4. Um, yeah, we all have it. We've all used it. Let's maybe put this a bit more like so. Yes, and. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you 
how the things that I was drawing in the first four episodes in Photoshop work when I draw them just on a normal piece of, of paper. This is what I'm holding. It, it looks fancy, but it's just an HP pencil, actually, whereas the camera, it's just, it's just Creator Color. Creator Color is a nice, nice company. And, the uh, yeah, art supplies are expensive, but you should invest in quality. Creator Color Monolith. HB is a very standard toughness for pencils. It's just not. It's just a normal pencil. So yeah. So what have we? We've got a circle. We've got a square, and of course we've got our triangle, just like before. Uh, where is it? A triangle, just like before. Okay, you see it. Three basic shapes, right? And um. basic shapes give way to three dimensions cube a pyramid and uh, a sphere the sphere you need to shade a little bit yeah I know light is coming from the front and it's coming from that direction, so it looks the same. And we're always be aware where our light source come, is coming from. In this case, the front and the top. So the shadow, the ball would be like one of them here. The highlight is where the light hits it directly. Of course, derp cube and uh, yeah, square. That's an HP pencil. Let's use a slightly softer pencil now. This is an uh, what is it? An HP four, I think. Where does it say "Get Dams"? "Get Dams" here. Four B. It's a four B. It's quite soft. There, at the end, it says right. And you may immediately see that the marks it makes are a bit broader and darker, a little rougher for sketching, right? Um, and you can tell the difference that the let's write it HP pencil. What did I say? Four B. Harder. Softer. Yes. HP. Four B. There you go. Uh, derp, 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 derp. This is a very regular uh, colored pencil. I think I've had this for like 15 years, you know, this set. Stedler. It's a, uh, yeah. It's 2, so I think it's 2B. So how do these behave? They behave exactly like a pencil. If you press harder, it becomes darker. If you press Softer, it becomes lighter, obviously, right? So I'm just drawing the same nonsense over again. But yeah, it, it's a tiny bit harder, actually, than, uh, than this one. So yeah, that's red. What do we need next? Derp, derp, derp. Blue, look at this shit. Yeah, this is just the cheapest pencil ever. It just happens to be blue. Just to show you that I'm not cheating, that I'm not using super expensive stuff all of the time. I mean, sometimes I do, but like... Yeah, this is so what we got. Tip is already it's not sharp, so you have to press harder on the right angle to get a mark. Yeah, red. So red, yellow, uh, red, blue, and uh, derp. Where is it? Ah, where is it? Here it is. I guess that's yellow. Right? Here again, a different example. The tip is almost completely gone, but you can still use it. You just have to hold it from the top, like so. Very soft. Yeah. 
Yeah. <clears throat> Red. Blue and yellow are the three primary colors. This time done traditionally red with the crappiest pencils. So you see, and what happens with colored pencils when we try and blend them? We start light. Works best if you just kind of go in one direction first, and then push a little harder, get darker, keep the lines parallel. Smooth it out. Just so, um, achieve even darker effects, you know, go the other way with the lines. Perpendicular, cross hatch, more cross hatching. Cross hatching is these little X's that I'm making to make it darker. That's, that's one way with the, the pencil. How do we mix colors with the pencil? So on top of each other, red. Set a layer of red. And with the uh, colored pencils, you kind of need to plan it a bit. It doesn't matter. Here, colored pencils, they don't mix so well, so you need to pretend like they do, right? As you can see, like this, ah, wait, me, me, this way. Here, it's blended, but it's you can tell that it's separate red and, and yellow. It doesn't mix so well. I mean, we can kind of right, slowly blend them over, but colored pencils are surprisingly difficult to color with. I found. Yeah, that's a pun. Believe it or not, that is a pun. Um, yeah, the tools of the trade. Next, what have we, what have we? Oh my god, what is this? What is this? What is this? A Copic marker. Check it out, it's a Copic marker. They're so cool. Uh, Copic markers are alcohol brush tip based pens. And uh, they're quite cool. I'll show you how it works. Right? Kind of work like pen, they smell strongly, nicely. <laughs> And um, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> and like you paint with them, and it gives you very even color right off the bat. Um, that's brown. But the cool thing about these pens is is that the colors they actually blend like paint. So if I go over it again, it actually adds the color on top of it. Just so, and you get a nice wash from dark to light. Wait, where's the... Uh, there you are. Here. And with Copic markers, you need to be aware, of course, that they seep through the paint, the paper. Especially crappy printer paper like this. When you're drawing, you shouldn't be drawing on crappy pin printer paper. I'm just using it to show you that I'm not cheating, that you can use this any kind of medium to achieve this. Look how it bled through in those few seconds of me painting that. Crazy, right? Crazy shiznit. Oh wait, the doorbell rang. I'll be right back. That's my home.
Yes! Hello! We have returned. So that was uh, the Copic Marker. Masha is here now. Hi, Masha. Hello. 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 I need some other pens. Um, the, the Copic Marker is different than the permanent marker that you're used to. I mean, they're both they're both alcohol based, but like a permanent marker is not made for craftsmanship. It doesn't. It's not balanced. Look at it. It's like. I mean, of course you can use it, but it's like it's it's shit. You can kind of achieve the same effect as with the Copic marker, but the overall quality of these kind of permanent marker pens that you buy is not so good compare here the brown with the red this is full opacity this is like derp I have to go over it many times but these kind of pens are are meant for writing rather than uh, than painting I found of course, these kind of pens, um, you can remove them from whiteboards and blackboards when they're not permanent. Um, it's obviously permanent. One to five millimeters, so that's very, very rough. Next. Next! Where are the pens at? Where did I put everything? Here. A Sharpie. A classic ink and pen. Let's get a new new page going, not one that's been bled on by a brown Copic marker, but let's get this one going, so derpy derpy derp, this is a just, this is what we call a sharpie, right, it's just a very thin black pen, oh this one's probably empty actually, no, no, god damn it, it's a heavy pencil, Eraser, but none of these are the things I'm looking for. That's the same one. I'll be right back. More basic tools that you'll be coming across. More basic tools that you'll be coming across. Lappy dappy dappy dapp. All these wonderful things. Of course, the classic ballpoint pen, the biro, the Kugelschreiber, the bane of every student across the world. Um, pens kind of initially behave like pencils, like the kind of marks they make. But a, a pen like this is very unforgiving because. Um, no way to erase it. Only way is to make good lines and go over it many layers. Ballpoint drawings are very difficult, I found. Need to be quick. Can't make many mistakes with it. What? What? There you go. No, it looks. It always. It looks very rough with the pen, with the ballpoint pen when I draw with it. I prefer.
prefer the pencil really. This is like I used to draw with pens like this when I was doodling in class. But I never thought it looked that good actually. Still an important skill to have. Working around mistakes. Working layers, you know. Fix the lines, close them. And you can make things look nice and sketchy. So yeah, that's kind of so that's what drawing with a ballpoint pen is like. Uh. uh yeah. Can't make mistakes. I can't really go back now. You know, if I make this too big. Can't fix it anymore. So yeah, ballpoint pen is an acquired test, but you can. It's good for practicing in the beginning because you can do really nice shading techniques with the ballpoint pen. The viral. I mean, this isn't really a ball. It's not round. It's shit, but you get the point, right? Slowly build it up. Something like that, you know. A ball drawn by a ballpoint pen. Markers. Sharpie marker. Lumo color, non permanent. Um, these are really lovely to draw. Manga and anime with these kind of pens. What would Vegeta do? You know, you gotta ask yourself on a day to day basis. And of course, usually you, you ink it first. I mean, you, you pencil it first and then you ink it. I'm going to be off for about half an hour. Alright, bro. Home, but... Right. Enjoy. Very nice, smooth, crisp lines. The derp is obviously a shitty sketch, but yeah. Right. So that's a, a mar marker pen that we love so much. Again, again, different mark making techniques. The HB pencil, the 4B pencil, the softer one, colored pencils. Uh, Shading looks like yeah, where are you shading up. This is what it looks like with colored pencils, and this is what it looks like with Copic markers. This is what it looks like with normal permanent markers. This is a ballpoint pen, a biro, Kugelschreiber, and this is a a marker, non permanent drawing marker. So, the way I usually go about it is I take a pencil, a normal one, a cheap one, like this one. Look how old it is. Uh, and, um, yeah, start drawing. Not quite sure what. 
what it is we're drawing, but it doesn't matter. At this stage, I just have to show you. Right? Like, let's say it's a, a face from the front, as per usual. Draw very fast with pencils, that's what I like about it. The American spent many years and many million dollars trying to develop a pen that could write in space. The Russians just brought a pencil with them. Ah, oh, chat coming in. The Russians also had problems with the pencil. Did they? What problems did they have with the pencil? So this is Skyrim. We go up to space. Microscopic lead bits. Broke up the pencil. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Interesting. That's interesting. So again, this is basically what I was doing in episode one, but this time with a pencil. Right. Ah, uh, God. This is a neutral face. This is irgendwer. It's a random person that I'm drawing. Give him some hair. Hair. Simple shapes. So the hair, some flow. The hair needs to be obviously on bigger than the, the shape of the, of the skull. So as you can see, it's already fleshed out quite a lot since I began drawing this random sketch. Of a random person, a guy maybe is in a J-pop band with that hair. Could be drawing. Da -da. Da -da. There you go, and uh, yeah, that, that's how you start with a sketch. Then you get. Your Sharpie, wherever it is, in this case it is, where did I put that, yeah, yeah, let's pretend this is a thinner pen than it is, and then we do the outlines, simple silhouette. What? Mm -hmm. It's for the basic shapes. Gotta fill it out. Yeah, there's the hair. Simplify the lines a bit.
know. Simple as now, really kind of the basic shapes. I will be coloring like eyebrows, like hair. And yeah, you see, that's really kind of like pretty good, right? La la la. The old eraser, the old friend. This should dry fast enough that we can immediately start erasing, but don't hold me for that. Remove everything that's not necessary in the drawing anymore. In this case, the pencil. Structure underneath, blah, 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 blah. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone, and now it's already kind of thin. You see? Yeah! Makes it a bit. So I'm going to fill that. Here, 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 and here, and here. So, make a pencil sketch, get your basic shapes down, then for simple comic drawings, start doing line art, and then the fun begins, you can start shading. Shadows. It's gonna kind of from front, but from the top. Touch it. Go over it again. Pencils do blend, especially softer ones. Remember, remember. And yeah, you see that was those three steps now, right? Sketch line art. This is an A. This is an E. Uh, sketch line art and the uh, shading. You can do them in any order you want, it really doesn't matter. Um, shading, inking, I guess inking and line art kind of goes together, coloring, finishing, color it, or to count as a finished piece. Just some ugly green yellow. But it'll do the trick. Look how the Copic markers mix with the uh, with the pencil. That's interesting. Any 
any much better, right? Sure. Where is he? Uh... There you are. Wow, why is it so close? Is there a zoom? Shouldn't be a zoom. Ah. Okay, well, so Yuri just uh, completely debunked my lovely pencil story there. Ah, can't trust anyone anymore these days. Is the camera still there? Oops. Quick break, two minutes. Funsies! Let's see if there's any messages. Is this stream live or not? Uh, derp. Another 10 minutes after this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, let me get the, the fun bit. Where is it? I hope I have it here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, so now what have we got here, let me lift up this, that fell, but it's okay, let me move the mouse, so I can see what you guys are saying, boom boom boom, uh, yeah, what do I have here, this, uh, this is interesting, let's open that, this is a pastel and charcoal set, um, Yeah, pastels. This is like the, the charcoal here. Pencils, pastel pencils and charcoal pencils. And uh, these earthen colored ones. That's pastel. Yeah. This is a classic drawing set. That most people that begin drawing at one point will uh, will have in one form or the other something like this way this should be gone like that that should stay and uh, yeah so more traditional mark making techniques. This is a, a pastel stick, right? Brown pastel. Pastels make a very soft mark, and the whole surface is actually malleable. The whole, uh, where the fuck is it here? This is weird. Like if I use it on the side, it makes these kind of soft marks. If I use on the corner, it makes a very thin, controlled, strong mark. Um, pastels you can also 
we can blend them and smudge them. Like so. It's like dirt. One stick of charcoal. Throw this in your oven. Give you some heat. Charcoal, of course. Gray to black. It's charcoal. Always find my lines become very flowy and round when I draw with charcoal. Unfortunately, it's somewhat hard to come by and a little bit expensive, but of course you can always just buy barbecue charcoal and draw with that. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. Right? And with charcoal, I usually like don't draw very exact, but just kind of like, do like sketchy. Draw an eye. Sketchy. Mm -hmm -hmm. You like to draw with 420 Ash? Yeah, I like to draw with that too onto my mouse pad. Leo, unfreiwilligerweise. And yeah, you see. Charcoal is just really like, wow, draw quick. This is a, an eyebrow. Just make really rough marks and just kind of like, wow, fly with it. Yeah, that's, that's an eye of sorts. In case you hadn't noticed. Of course, there's also white charcoal. Whee! There's not so much left. But it does exist. Here it is. Check it out. Bring it right back here. And uh, with charcoal, Create values very nicely. Midtones, highlights by just leaving things, shadows. So, you know, it goes really quick. Find that you can draw a lot by these things here. Our old friends away. La di da. And uh, yeah, you know, charcoal. Draw animals. Really. It was this thing at university we did, like, we had life drawing classes. We'd often just draw apples and naked people. But there would be different challenges. Sometimes you'd have to have an hour to draw the naked person, and sometimes you'd have five minutes to draw the naked person, and sometimes you have um, 30 seconds to draw the naked person or the apple, right? And then you just have to kind of find, like, the line like straight away okay here's the that's the head and the, the neck draws like that here comes the the shoulder the head is kind of tilted backwards this is the the neck like that the arm is comes here and there's the chest and uh derp yeah mm-hmm 
nose and, and eyes, there's a mouth, there's some hair. Boobies. Charcoal was probably made for drawing women. Um, yeah, charcoal. Charcoal sets often come with different colored pencils of different kinds, different strengths. Boobies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's a a pastel pencil. It's different kinds of pastel. I just put them here for you. You can get in a set like this. Graphite. Pastel stick. Mm, yeah. So that's most of the, some of the traditional drawing mediums and mark making techniques that you can use. The ones that I learned and then um, subsequently learned to simulate in Photoshop as we've been learning the past few weeks, pointing backwards with the stick. <laughs> so yeah, if you have a bit of a drawing foundation, if you have the right tools available, A, you can practice better, you get better results, and it's much more fun, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun if you can work with real medium, right, it, it has a weight, it's dirty, it's my hands, you can feel it, it has a weight, a feel, Texture, smell. Learn how to use these ancient techniques and then learn how to use them on the computer. Isn't that nice? Feels so good. Feels so good. Oh, yeah. Doesn't even matter what way you draw. Charcoal. Charcoal covers even the Copic marker. You can cover it in perfect black. Just here. Perfect black. So yeah, very heavy. If you draw with charcoal, be careful that your picture doesn't have too many dark values. Um, that would be not too good. But it's nice, you know. Get your hands dirty sometimes. It's good fun. Don't be scared of it. it. Shows that you've been working. Shows that you've been working on something. My mom always likes it when I show up with dirty paint hands. She knows I haven't been hoodlumming around on the streets. <laughs> um, so yeah, on that note, you know, just practice your drawing techniques. Stick with the basics shapes and colors, get yourself something that you like. Next time we're going to be looking at watercolor and acrylics, maybe even some spray paint, spray paint, see how that stuff behaves in real life as opposed to the computer. Yeah, you know, that was the witching hour for today. I hope you learned something. I hope you like the fact that you can see a camera of my dirty, dirty hands. Look at it. Ugh. And yeah, um, hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed that. If you like that, uh, pop a follow, pop a subscription, whatever you like, share with your friends, share on Reddit, share on Twitter. Zero dot eight is the website, and Twitter, zero. We'll see, thanks to watchmework.com for having me for the fifth time in a row. I'm glad I made it back today. 
on time so I could talk about nonsense with you guys. Yeah, that was, that was me for today, I think. I'm just gonna quickly go over here now. See if everything is okay. I hope you guys enjoy that and we'll be back with the post hangout soon. Bye bye. Mm -mm -mm. I hope it recorded this shit otherwise. I'm screwed. Uh, I checked it before. Stop. Broadcast. Oh, God, that hour passed pretty quickly.